I'm going to demonstrate how to use the handbrake software to decrease the size um, and make available MP4 format uh, so that we can take a look at decreasing file size and using the video a little bit smaller with vbrick or any of the other storage solutions you have. So the first thing you need to do when you open up Handbrake, and it may do this automatically for you, is to open the source and say what video do you want to work with. So I'm going to find this video that's about a hundred, almost 200 megs big. I'm going to click on it and say open. It's going to put that video up in here. You can see what the source is. You can see that it's a 19 minute video. Um, you can then see that it's going to automatically create a file name that's an MP4 and it's going to put it onto our desktop. So it sets that stuff up for you automatically. The next thing I do is go over here to the right hand side and if that window is not open you can hit the toggle presets and it'll open that tab up for you. Click on iPad and it changes some of the settings. It makes sure that it's an MP4 and make sure that it's H.264 compliant, which means that it will play on iOS devices. Um, we're going to make sure that it's large file size. We're going to change the bit rate down. So I'm going to change the bit rate down to 400. That still will keep good video quality. I'm going to do two pass, and I'm going to do turbo first pass so that it sets all that stuff up for me. I'm going to open up the picture settings and in the picture settings I'm going to change it so that the width goes down to 720 because that size is one that's acceptable for use. It will keep the ratio there for us. I can close that window now. At that point I am ready to start converting my video. So as you can see down at the bottom, it gives you a percentage of how much it's done uh, so you can keep an eye on, on how long it's going to take for that conversion to occur. Uh, this one is just about finished, so we'll hang tight here and let this one finish up. When you're finished, it will pop up with a message that says that your conversion is finished. It will have saved it onto the desktop. And for this video, remember we started with one that was almost 200 megs. The new copy is down to about 80 megs. So it would fit pretty much on all websites. See the little pop-up that comes up that says your handbrake queue is done. So we can now go use that video and work with that. That is how handbrake works and you can adjust your settings accordingly.